Here's an overview from Mission 1, Lesson 17. Our student objective for this lesson is to solve multi-step word problems, model with tape diagrams, and assess the reasonableness of answers using rounding. So, what does that mean? What that, what, uh, I can't speak. What does that mean? It means that we are going to solve world, word problems. That's what we're doing. We're using our addition and or subtraction skills to solve word problems. So let's take a look at one that's going to be on your Tower of Power. This is not going to be exactly what's on your Tower of Power, but the idea. Okay. It says, in one school year, in one year, excuse me, a school uses 11,470 pieces of white paper, 3,870 fewer pieces of blue paper than white paper, and 3,400 fewer pieces of yellow paper than blue paper. How many pieces of paper does the school use in all? That's a lot of saying paper, 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 paper. Luckily, it's not really a tongue twister. This is one of those where you read it all at once and you read it all together and you're like, well, your brain starts smoking and start, the smoke starts coming out of your ears and you're like, whoa, wait, wait, what, 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 what is this asking? And that's when, we, what do we do? We take a breath. We breathe. We let it out. And then we just break it down step by step and we draw it out. Okay. So... What are we really dealing with? We are dealing with different colors of paper. We have white paper. We have blue paper. And we have yellow paper. And we are being asked, how many pieces of paper does the school have in all? So we know we're just going to have to do several different equations to get to that final step. It's a multi-step, meaning we're going. it's not just one equation we're going to do to solve this. It's going to have to be multiple occasions. Okay, so again, we have white paper, blue paper, yellow paper. So I'm going to draw this out. I have, let's make it white, white paper. I have blue paper. And I have yellow paper. All right, now let's draw some tape diagrams. Let's get it labeled here. So we know that it uses 11,470 pieces of white paper. Okay, so 11,470. So I'm going to, man, let's make it white here. Eleven thousand four hundred and seventy. Okay. And if we look at the blue paper, it says there's three thousand eight hundred seventy fewer pieces of blue paper than white paper. So. Let's draw that. So, what was, and again, 3,870 fewer pieces of blue than white. So, for that blue, I don't know what it is. But I do know it is, what was, what was the number again? 3,870. Less. So, what does that tell us? That means that those two together would be 11,470 because that was the total of the white. Now, how do I figure that out? If I know a total and I know one of the pieces, okay, I subtract. So, I can figure out the blue by 11,470. Minus 3,870. And if I subtract them, let's set it up. Can I do 0 minus 0? Yes. Can I do 7 minus 7? Yes. Can I do 4 minus 8? No. So I have to borrow. That 1 becomes a 0. This 4 becomes a 14. Now can I do 0 minus 3? Nope. 
that one becomes a zero and this zero becomes a 10. So now I can say zero minus zero is zero. Um, and I can say seven minus seven is zero. 14 minus eight is six. 10 minus three is seven. And zero minus zero is zero. So blue, that B equals 7,600. Now, if we take a look at the yellow paper, it says, let's see, and 3,400 fewer pieces of yellow paper than blue paper. All right. So we knew that our blue paper, we decided, was 7,600. Okay. So let's, we're going to draw a tape diagram here. Let's make it, let's move it down a little bit. So that's yellow, which we don't know. But to make it the same size as the blue, which is 7,600, we know that it's how much less? 3,400. And how can we figure out then what, how much yellow paper it is? Well, we take our, what our blue was, which was 7,600. And we subtract 3,400. And look, I don't even have to borrow here. 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. 6 minus 4 is 2. 7 minus 3 is 4. 4,200 is the amount of yellow paper. Now notice I'm kind of getting really sloppy here. I'm going to go back under and I'm going to write those numbers below. So yellow is 4,200. Blue was 7,600. And white is 11,000. 470. Now, the question itself asks us, okay, how many pieces of paper does the school use in all? So when you have one of those in all problems, what does that mean? It means we need to add them all up, the white, the blue, and the yellow. So I'm going to add them up, and I'm just going to do two at a time. So if I had, let's start by adding my white and my blue. So my white is 11,000. 470 plus my blue was 7,600. And if I add them, 0 plus 0 is 0. 7 plus 0 is 7. 6 plus 4 is 10. So I carry the 1. Now 1 plus 7 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. And 1 plus nothing is 1. So my, bleh, what my, colors? my white and blue together are 19,070. And now I have to take that, and I still have to add on whatever the yellow was, and we said that was 4,200. I'm gonna add that, so zero plus zero is zero, seven plus zero is seven, zero plus two is two, nine plus four is 13, gotta carry the one, and one plus one is two. So 23,270 pieces of paper should be my answer. Okay. So 23,270. Yes. This one... This lesson, especially that last problem, can get a little overwhelming. I get it. You just need to break it down and draw it out. Okay. And really keep yourself organized, what you're looking for. Because right? if you can't get yourself organized, you're going to have an even more of a struggle with it.